it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and uh, today we're going to take a look in on the Eurozone. So first we're going to look at the northeast worms on the south side of the house and see what they're up to. So looks like the moisture's staying nice in there. And I think I fed down the middle. Here we go. Hi guys. You gotta love it when they're when they're this big. You can just spot them like right off. Oop, very sassy, sassy worms. Um, <laughs> with that being sassy, you would also know if you had an African nightcrawler because it would have been like, mad, don't care. They don't tend to uh, flip around and freak out in the daylight. Um, so let's see, with these being the European night crawlers, they may still have food left, and they do. So it looks like we've got some rice left and some random green things. But it doesn't look like they're making a worm ball out of it, which if these were European, if these were red wigglers, then you would expect them to have been making a ball already. But you can tell what they have been doing, which is making castings out of the bedding. So that is one of the main differences between yield red wigglers. If one, if one of your goals is to get rid of your kitchen scraps, um, you know, red wigglers and blue worms are really the best for that. Um, the euros are, are quite content you know, as are the African night crawlers, just to uh, just to have their bedding. So, although I'm gonna flip this around and make sure they've got air everywhere, um, since they have a good amount of food still, I'm not gonna give them more. Um, not gonna put this bin into crisis just because I have extra food I want to get rid of. All right, I will put that back in there. So. Unfortunately, even though they're awfully nice worms, they're not making a worm ball for me um, on the food. So, not sure what I'm growing here. Looks like some kind of a weed, dayflower maybe. Put that in the dark. I mean, they can eat it maybe. All right. Well, it doesn't look like they need any bedding, and they don't need any food. So, we are going to move over to the Emily side of the Eurozone. All right, now here we are in the Emily side of the Eurozone. Got a little baby hanging out on the lid there. So let's see what they're doing. Looks like the springtail population is working. Looks like the avocado is working. Let's start flipping through here. Now this is a much larger range of size of worms than the northeast worms. The northeast worms were mostly, you know, large adults. So maybe this one will have come further with its food since there's a full range of, and probably more pounds. I'd have to go back and look at the video, but I think there's more pounds of worms in this bin than there was. Oop, whoop, all right then. Very sassy. I think that's one of the big ones that I picked out of the the mixed bin. You know, try and keep the big genetics going if you can. So, got to be getting close here. Okay, so we've got the little worms here which are, although this, whatever it is, um, at least the little ones are having a bit of a worm party for us, so we can see them being adorable for the public. But these two also have quite a bit of worm, uh, food left. Here they are on the uh, pineapple. So I always try and point out what kind of food, because people are like, 
why, you know, I wonder if they wonder why I kind of go on about what kind of food is in the bin. And one of the reasons I do that is there's so much uh, talk about forbidden foods and what should you or should you not, you know, if it's between putting it in the garbage and giving it to your worms, give it to the worms, they'll figure it out. Just don't do it all at once, you know. But, you know, obviously pineapple is pretty acidic, and so some people think, similar to citrus, you should not be giving that to the worms. But as you can see, they're, just, they're living on it. They're really, not only are they not bothered by it, they're, they're having a good time. So always try and point out what kind of foods are in here. Like this kiwi, it hasn't been broken into yet, so we'll bust that up. Next time, maybe we'll get a good worm ball out of that. Um, but yeah, so I always point out what kind of food there is, just so that everybody, you know, I get a lot of questions, or I see it in the Facebook groups. Can I feed my worms this? Can I feed my worms that? And for the most part, in my bins, I will feed them almost anything. I still don't do, like, straight up meat, um, just because I don't want to attract pests to my basement. But, uh, you know, as far as any fruit and vegetable or grain of any kind, I am 100% supporting giving it a try. Uh, so I think in this bin, I did have a few things I hadn't had before. One was cabbage rolls. Now, I have a feeling there was meat in those cabbage rolls. Maybe not. Um, but, yeah, so you can tell these worms are quite happy. That was quite a bit of food left over, so... Even though they're getting into it, they are not ready for another meal. And then, of course, my wannabe avocado farm over here. We'll just put them together. Looks like something else is coming up over here. Let's see what that is. Uh, surprise. It's another avocado. So you don't need any fancy tricks for growing avocados. You just need a worm bin. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any uh, cool, you know, feeding for you guys today, but what I did want to show is restraint. Um, you know, a lot of times I think, oh, I should show something interesting, like, what are they going to eat this time? And I did bring down a whole thing of melon for them, which, you know, I'm probably going to have to feed the big boy because they are not ready, and I'm not going to create toxic, toxic uh, situations for these worms. And that, you know, that's one of the things that I try to counsel people um, who are new to worms. If you're going to overfeed or underfeed, underfeed every time. Um, give them a little bit and see if it works. If you go back in a week and it's still there, give them another three or four days. And if it's still there, wait another three or four days. You know, either the microbes in your bin are not ready or the worms aren't ready. It's not because they like or dislike the food. It's just not ready for them to eat yet. All right, well, just a little bit of a conversation, a check-in on the Eurozone, hoping to, to catch some cool worm balls. But if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.